title of this email, what do guys want? Do you want some good sweet walls? That's what they want. That's what every guy wants. Oh. And a good home cooked meal. <laughs> Chief, you are the you are so beautiful. Oh, hi Keith and Kevin, you guys are so funny and fine. Yeah. Yeah, how fine am I? Yeah. <clears throat> Balls deep fine? Yeah. Keith, you are so beautiful and I have the biggest crush on you. If only I was older and you weren't married. How old is she? 13? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I'm 19 year old female in college. That's old enough. I think fight. in most states, all you have to be is like 17 years yeah. and six months. Yeah. She Ooh. sent some pictures. It's a black girl. Mm. Mm hmm. Get the lips on her. Yeah, let me see you. Get the lips on her. And my sensitive face. Mm. Oh, chocolate thing. Man, come on, man. You can't. Look at the lips. Yeah. She 19? Here's another one. Oh man, that's clean. We go ahead and sensor the face. Yeah. It's not focused. It's focused. Look at the lips. Look at the lips. Look at the forehead. Look how straight the teeth are. Now respect it. Yeah. All right, let's get back to the email. Oh, here's a full body one. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's Snapchat action right there. Let me sense of the face. Yeah. Hold up, it ain't. Hold up. What? Man, move that damn light skinned face out the way. There we go. I had to block your ass. Yeah. Did you look <laughs> at What? What's the oh the face was gone okay let's get sense at the face okay anyway I didn't invade her privacy I'm five foot two and a and I weigh 110 pounds man a guy like me could damage your ass mm hmm 19 too mm 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 I've only went on a couple of dates with one guy, but never had an official boyfriend. People tell me I'm beautiful, sweet, and hilarious, and mind you, I'm also a virgin. Because I want oh, my first man. because I want my first time to be meaningful. Look here. I lost my virginity. Yeah. There's a fact check, never knew a name, yeah. and it was still very meaningful. Me, uh, uh, me, mean a, fuck it. How you say it? Shut up. Me, it does, you know what the first time you just don't want to lay down with some crackhead. Meaning, meaningful. You gonna forget. Meaningful. That first time you lose your virginity, it's not gonna be a pleasant experience. <laughs> meaningful. Meaningful. You should just say, "I just wanted to have some more meaning to it." <laughs> you putting that full shit on it. Yeah. All that damn proper English. All that damn shit. education. That's what it is, I know, man. man. All that damn education. But what confuses me is that I will often hear guys say they can't stand being with a hoe. Or they can't, don't want an easy girl. See, guys don't want that girl that comes around, right? He hanging with his boys, right? It's all all his boys around, right? Girl comes around and end up uh, running a train on her ass, right? Yeah. See, that's not girlfriend material. Yeah. Because you know what you call she them, just right? had her best friend's dick in her mouth. You know what you call girls like that? What? On the street, she call them shorties. <laughs> bunch of a bunch of uh, bunch of your friends get the man what's shorty at shorty's coming through shorty fucks everybody right. she shows up and has sex with, with with you and your friend yeah that's considered a hoe right or you can call it that's disrespectful towards women yeah that's just you call a, them shorties i mean that's the street term for it shorty street term for that is that girl is a hoe that's that's what guys mean by a hoe, yeah. right? But that don't make Not, them a bad person. No, it just makes them a hoe. Yeah, there ain't nothing wrong with that. Pretty much all men are hoes. Yeah. It's a double standard. It's a double standard. Yeah. However, when they actually come across a girl like myself who isn't easy or a hoe, they immediately get turned off. Yeah, you ain't giving them no pussy. Hell yeah, you're going to get turned off. I mean, they, we going to stick around for some time. Yeah. We're going to give you a chance. Uh 
mm-hmm. to come to your damn senses. Yeah. But if it ain't working, man, we gonna hit the fucking road. Yeah, I There's know. There's all kinds of pussy out there. Yeah, I know. Just throwing. Just well, I said I don't like saying that word. What pussy? Yeah, it's too vulgar. Why are you saying it? It's all kinds of sweet walls out there. Just, 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 just ready to get penetrated. Yeah, you out there playing? Well, she ain't playing. She's just, she's nervous and she's she's not sure. She wants it to be more. She wants it to be meaningful. She wants it to have some meaning to it. Yeah. Hold up. Let me finish this damn email. They make it seem like it's a bad thing for a girl to want something more than just sex. That being said, not all guys are like this, but some of the ones that I've ran into are. And this is one of the reasons why I've been single my whole life. I really yeah. just don't understand guys sometimes. Is it really bad to want more than just some balls deep action? Yeah, you've been watching our videos a bunch. <laughs> or am I just missing something? Yeah. Can you guys please make a video about this and tell me what you guys, what you think I should do? Look, I'm going to tell you like this, man. What you doing, I think it's a beautiful thing. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. You. And I understand where you're coming from. Yay. I, my first, uh, well, not the first girl I had sex with, but a girl later on after you lost my virginity, she was a virgin. I stuck around for about um, five, six months, and then she finally gave it to me. You know, she ended up being my wife. Who? Who the fuck you wait five, six months for? My fr- my first wife. Oh, man. That's that's because you were stupid. You was 19. Shut up. You were a damn fool waiting that long. Well, I did. Right? And shit still didn't work out. We got divorced fucking two years later. <laughs> so, I see where you're coming from. You want to make sure this person you have sex with, you don't want them... You don't want it to um, be a mistake. You don't want to be feel used. So, but it's no guarantee that the person you lay down with, you're gonna have that. Yeah, fuck out the way. Ninety nine percent of all relationships end in a crane wreck. How much? Ninety nine percent of them. Yeah. You no, know I mean women I've been with before I got with my wife. Yeah. Like fucking a hundred of them. A hundred women? Well, not that many. You fucking slut. It you was, slept with a hundred women? No, I'm just saying. Figure of speech. You fucking whore. Figure of speech. Well, I'll tell, like, tell you like this. The person you have sex with, just make sure you're, you're comfortable with, with you and what you're doing. It doesn't matter if later on you find out. I mean, if later on it doesn't work out, so be it. A lot of relationships don't work Look, out. Look, you should be able to figure out if you're going to fuck this motherfucker within three weeks of, a, of meeting somebody. Yeah. In three weeks, this motherfucker done put all this damn time and investment, took you out to eat, yeah, spent yeah. some quality time with yeah. you. You talk about how fucked up your mama is to him. He ain't listen, sat down and listened to all your damn sob stories and shit. He done brought you flowers and shit on yeah. damn on flower day. Or yeah, yeah. he came and bought you some damn chocolates, took you out to eat. It's been yeah. three weeks and you talk about you ain't giving up no damn pussy. You yeah. out your goddamn mind. This damn 2016 up in this bitch. I know. And I tell you like this. If you be with a man for 60 days and if you haven't given him no sex, the problem is not necessarily God. The problem is you. You're not. You, you just. You're just not ready for sex yet. I think you. I think you went over the line on that one. Well, you, what do you mean? Some goddamn feminists going to come for your ass in this. What? Goddamn feminists. It's the truth. If you with a man and y'all together and y'all kissing and y'all, y'all showing affection for one another for, and y'all been together 60 days and you still don't feel comfortable with sleeping with that man? I'm telling them feminists coming. Well, let them come. The problem is then not, it's not him. Or all the men out there. The problem is you. You're just not ready for sex. Yeah, if you can't sleep with him within 60 days, yeah. you need to cut him loose because obviously he's not the right he's one. He's not the one. Why are you keeping him around? Yeah. Why are you keeping him around? It's been six days. You ain't gave him no pussy. He ain't good enough to give him I no pussy. Why are you keeping him around? you were going to say pussy. That's the way you should have worded it. It's all about how you word shit. Man, you got damn meatballs sauce from dinner this early, man. You know? Hey, but, but take hey. your time. Think about it. And if you do have sex with the guy you, you're with... And it don't turn out okay, and or if it it later you find out it it wasn't the right guy, then so be it. And don't fucking blame us. Yeah, work on it. Title of this email: Foot fetish. <laughs> <laughs> 